Hi there, Angela here at So Bright Alpine Quilting. It's the uh, Great Australian Craft Show Gift Giving Spectacular this week and we're here all week at 11am and 2pm to show you what we've got in store and uh, do some product demonstrations and some demonstrations of some of the techniques that we like to do. We'll just wait for a couple of seconds and see if some people jump on. I'll just need to check the monitor. So Steve can uh, just zoom in for a second on some of these gorgeous little products that I'm going to show you. And we'll see if I can get this live up here. So now I've got the live on the screen over there and I hopefully might be able to see as some people drop in and say hello. If you're there, come and say hello. Uh, leave a comment if you like and uh, we can always try and answer your questions either during this little segment or afterwards. So we're here this morning and we're going to talk about Kris Kringle gifts. Many quilters uh, like to exchange Kris Kris Kringle gifts. It's a bit of a mouthful for a Monday morning. Uh, so I thought I'd show you some of the things that we have in store that are available at the moment. And keeping with the theme of the um, Great Australian Craft Show, we've done these as a bit of a top seven. But I've got more than seven anyway, of course. So the first one is the this little, it's quite big and muggy actually. And I've got a couple left that have um, sayings on them. So this one says it's the thimble things in life. And these are 19.95. So I've got one of those and this one that says eat slip quilt, which we all love to do. So there's that one, all nice big mug. And they're from Moda. Next up we have some sets of um, little coasters. So we have a few different ones. This one says eat, sleep, sew. We have happiness is homemade and we have love to sew. So we've put them, bundled them together in sets of four uh, in the three different ones or you can purchase them individually. So individually they're $2.99. So they're a great little Kris Kringle gift as well. The next thing is a little pin cushion. Everyone loves a pin cushion. So we've got some made ones and we've also in during the week we'll show you some uh, designs for ones that you can make yourself. For Kris Kringle gifts, we've got some little tins around the place. One of our most popular little Kris Kringle items is the uh, Hummingbird Needle Threader. And Steve's quite an expert of demonstrating this. For those ladies that have been in have, have um, seen him demonstrate this in store. It is a great little one because it does it slightly differently. Eileen and Karen. Hello Eileen. Hello Karen. Hello Evelyn. Uh, so this needle bird threader is quite handy. It has a little cutter on the back where you can cut your thread and underneath its little beak is a post. And on that post, that post is a little bit flexible and it has a little barb on the end. And it's the easiest needle threader you'll ever use. So we put the hook, hook the needle onto the barb. Easy, she says, if she can't do it. It just won't go in there. Oh. It's because I'm trying to do it to show you. Hook the thread on the end. Put a little bit of tension on there. Close his beak and pull the thread over. So that's a great little needle threader. The Bob and Buddies are also a popular item for Kris Kringle. These great little Bob and Buddies. I don't know if you may have seen them before. Those of you who like to order online, you usually get one of these as a little gift from me. So they work by taking your bobbin, squeezing the ends, pushing them in, and then pushing it on top of the matching cotton reel. So you can keep your bobbin and your thread together keep organized. So they're a handy little thing. Some other little gifty things that we've got are these little quilting charms. Steve might like to zoom in on those. You can either hang on your scissors or you can put them on a bracelet or a little fob. They're very cute. We've got a few of those. The quilt dots are a little magnet. 
These ones are in designs of um, Paradise in Blooms quilts from Quiltworks. So a little magnet, great for sticking on the side of your machine. So I put them on the side of the machine and I usually put the needle packet next to it. So you can clip your needle on your sewing machine needle or your hand needles. Uh, if you have two together, you can put them on the inside of your shirt and use them to attach your needle to keep your needle in place. You can also grab a uh, handy little bracelet and the, the quilt dots fit inside the bracelet as well. So you could have different designs on this cute little silver bracelet. The quilt dots also come in a paper clip, so a nice handy little paper clip. And then of course the titanium scissors, my favorite little pair of scissors at the moment. These are very sharp little scissors, nice points, great for applique, thread snipping, and uh, they're only 9.50, so they're a great little bargain. Another one of my favorite handy tools is the quarter plus ruler. So it's a half an inch wide with a, a line drawn in the middle. And during the work, you'll see me using this in lots of our demonstrations. So you can use it to add a quarter of an inch seam allowance to your English paper piecing templates. Uh, you can use it when you're cutting out to lay things a half an inch apart if you want to get them nice and accurately apart. So many uses. Very handy little thing. And they're only about uh, 5.50. So very handy little things. So, oh, I've got the magnets. So the horseshoe magnets. These ones come in pink or purple. And they are handy for picking up pins when you drop them on the floor because we all drop our pins on the floor, don't we? Very handy little things. Okay, as far as our other specials go, hi Karen. Uh, this week we have new Christmas in stock. So this is the Robert Kaufman Christmas tree. And that's one of our quick, quick Christmas gifts. I think it would make a great uh, Christmas card holder. So I'll show you how you can do that later in the week. We've also got our Christmas stocking panel. So this one has uh, two Christmas stockings on it. And you can make one Christmas stocking or you can make add some extra fabric and make two stockings. And the advent calendar for this year is called Santa's Workshop. This one's really cute. So we'll be, uh, I'll be making that one later in the week as well. So keep an eye on the schedule. You can find the schedule for these Facebook Lives on our blog at www.sobright.com.au. So generally in the morning, I'll give you a product demo and then, uh, sorry, show you the fabrics and stuff and then in the afternoon I will do a hands-on demo for you. Other things that we've got are uh, the little craftiness is happiness which is the English paper piece. Sorry that's not craftiness that's the sherbet daisy doily. This is craftiness is happiness. So it's a combination of uh, applique and a little bit of stitchery and we display it in a hoop and I've just added a little bit of rip rack around the outside just to uh, juzzy it up a little bit, make it look a little bit fancy. You can also paint your hoops that you use as well. And the pin cushions, so these are the pin cushion sets that we were talking about earlier. So we have a pattern for this one here that makes seven little pin cushions. That will be up on Wednesday, I think. And so the later this afternoon, we'll be talking about, and I'll take you through making up one of these gorgeous little mug mats. So this one comes with uplifting sayings. So in the kit, you get a panel that has the seven sayings already printed onto cotton fabric and the batting that is printed with the design on it. And it's just a matter of um, stitching and flipping your shapes. So I'll take you through making one of those 
later this afternoon. So there's two different ones of those. One is uplifting sayings and one is uh, quilty fun. So that's got lots of quilty sayings on it. Hello to everybody from Steve when you turn the camera around. <laughs> Steve turned the camera around on himself. He does it once or twice, never mind. And this after, uh, tomorrow afternoon we'll be talking about English paper piecing and I'll be taking you through how I go about making these beautiful stars. And that's using the chrysalis fabric from uh, Free Spirit. And we'll be uh, doing a hands-on demo on English paper piecing, fussy cutting, using viewers, what needles, what glue, all sorts of things we'll talk about tomorrow. So join us this afternoon if you'd like to see how we can make some mug bags. And we'll see you at 2 o'clock. If you want to see what all of our specials are this week, you can find them on the Craft Alive website through the Great Australian Craft Show at, uh, great, at craftalive.com.au or you can go straight in through sobright.com.au and click on the Great Australian Craft Show and it'll list all our 10 showcase products there. And then we'll also have some little links to the extra little products that you see around. You'll have to, um, most of those will be under quilting tools, but I might make a little special um, tab for them as well. So if you've got any questions, just post them in the comments and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at two o'clock. Bye-bye.